This is the Teenage Brickster here with another Lego set review. Today, I will be looking at 6900, the Cyber Saucer. This is from the UFO sub-theme, it was released in 1997. It cost $22 and contained 114 pieces. Anyway, I did another review of a UFO set last time, but some of you are probably wondering, it's called the UFO sub-theme, so where's the UFOs? Well, here is the UFO. This sub-theme had, like, ten different sets, or not ten. It had, like, I don't know, eight and, like, nine sets, but not counting, like, all the different Chinese versions of the little ones for different promos, but it only had two flying saucers, clearly enough, two UFOs, but here's one of them right here, as you can see the top spins. So, this is a pretty decent set. Something interesting about it is that it was actually released twice, under two different numbers, 6900 and 6999, because 6999 included a huge plastic alien mask, like what this guy's wearing right here, except in black, so that you could actually wear it and be an alien. So I thought and that's kind of interesting. The 90s, they did, each theme kind of had something like that. Like there was an adventurer set from the Pharaoh theme that had a big case that looked like a mummy. And then there was, let's see, there was a, uh Aqua Zone set that had like a blue kind of goofy base plate. And yeah, there were different sets from different themes that had things like that. There was an insectoid set that had like a big insect. I don't know. So yeah, kind of interesting bit of trivia about this set. It was re released twice. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool set. So here, let's take a closer look at it. Okay, here we have the UFO. This is from the Golden Age of Printed Parts, so it has this huge printed part here, and this huge printed part right here. Really nice, and I see those on there. It's got some, like, sensor, like, antennas around the top, it's got four of those, it's got these big black dishes. I don't know, are those merely just sensors, or are those EMP weapons? It's for you to decide. These guys are invading, after all. It's got a gun right there, that was it looks like, that can be detached. I mean, it's just on a black cone. You can just pull it out of the cone. It's a handgun for the guy. It's got one of these nice reflective you know, like wing panels. These were used across different space themes in the 90s. That's a sticker on there. And then over here, it's got some more, like, EM, I don't know, whatever that is. It's these big transparent panels. That's one big piece there. Same with this one. It's got another gun right here. Kind of different shape. And then another one of these nice reflective tiles. Come up to the top here, we have the cockpit. Which, this is a very basic design, it's just these four big panels. They all fit onto like a couple of plates in there. And they form a hexagon shape, you have this specialized hexagon plate piece up here that fills the gap, holds them all together. With one of these Blacktron canopies on top. I don't know, that's just what I call them, because Blacktron too used tons of these things. And then it's got one of these interesting stickers here that were UFO line exclusives. And these are those stickers that are heat sensitive. So it's got this unassuming circuitry pattern. But if you rub it, as you rub it, you'll see something emerge. There is the UFO alien symbol, and it fades quickly. So it's just that symbol on that piece. It's got, this opens up obviously. It's got a nice red chair in there for the guy, no controls. He just sits in there, he barely fits in there, but he fits. So this whole thing is top and just spin. So it makes it easy to make a video of. But the whole top just spins around because it's on this big base here. And it's got a turntable up in there. And then it's these big stands so it can just rest. That's why it's so high off the ground. Ah, oh, shoot, because it's got this huge, these big wing panels. This is one piece, big panel, that just sits on, it's got four of those. And then it's got this box here, which is their halo. This is like a, maybe this guy's like some sort of courier or something. Goes in here, he's got this little cyber like, chip thing. I don't know. It's one of these little control panels on a one by two red plate. So yeah, that's interesting. Some of the other sets have stuff in boxes like this too. Like the Warpwing Fighter has two of just these tiles or the Alien Avenger has two of just those tiles in two separate boxes. So, that's kind of the thing with the Alien something that I guess is having those in boxes. Like, Avatron has its little green studs. So, it's a fun set. It's a good play set. I, I think it's a good set. So, now I'll show you the minifigure, because the minifigure in the set is just, he's just awesome. 
Okay, so here we have the Blue Alien Commander, I think is what this guy's called. This is one of the actual aliens of the alien something. It's not one of the robot guys. So as such, he gets his fancy breastplate right here. Big fancy breastplate there all the way around. His fancy helmet. The molded ridges on the sides. And yeah, breastplate's got... The breastplate was used for UFO theme and the insectoid theme. Helmet was UFO theme only. Since this is the golden age of printed parts, it's printed up there. But the printer keeps on going. I just got printed right there. Shoot, I want that focus? No, okay. Sorry, camera's not being cooperative. Ah. Okay. He's got fancy printing on his legs there with like some kind of fleshy detailing. I don't know what metallic silver flesh. I don't know if that's a thing, but I guess what it is with aliens. He's got kind of a belt there. Some sort of blue thing. Is that like a their version of a pocket watch that's hanging down there? I don't know. They are aliens after all. And then up here, we've got a very crazy face. These guys had crazy faces. Look at that. There is a face. Because that has, if you can't see it, that's got metallic gold and silver is what forms the main face. And there's red right at the top there. That's a little red thing right there. He's got the two slanted eyes with black lines on them to make him look kind of slitted. He's got kind of gill-like structures on the side there. It's right there. And he's got a really goofy head. Trans neon green head. There you go. If you're a trans neon green lover, all your dreams are fulfilled. So, yeah. Nice nice minifigure. These guys were really fancy. Really fancy printing. Ah. They got... They made some good minifigures in the 90s. They still do, but... Some of these guys have fancier printing than stuff even today. So, yeah. That's the minifigure. This this is the blue one. This guy's actually rare. He's only in this this Cyber Saucer and then the Alien Avenger. So, more uncommon minifigure than, say, the red one, who's in, like, three sets. And the, well, the gray one's the rarest, but this guy is also very rare. Okay, here we have a quick look at the instruction book. And as I was telling you earlier about that mask, it has the two numbers on the top here to denote the two different sets, which is kind of interesting. They didn't just print one instruction, two different instruction books. To make it cheaper, they just printed one book and then put the number in every set you got. In this book, appearances are deceiving. It looks like you build it this way, but you build it that way, which I kind of like. I like that style. I'm flipping it around. And the back here it shows off some alternate builds. Always like that. It's not on every instruction book. So that's interesting. I tried building that. I got pretty close to it. I couldn't figure out some of the structure in there, but it was really goofy looking. With the big panels on the front, kind of, the st and it's got the big panels on the back. Kind of the style of some of the other sets, where you've got the two panels on the front. Showing off the saucer there, how you can spin it. Or right here, you got this thing. I don't know, he, it looks like this piece is on a turntable right here, so you can spin it back and forth. And then it's got your super, super fancy instructions with heat sensitive sticker. Sticker, finger, ah, the image. I like that. It's just kind of fun. Those heat sensitive stickers were only used for the UFO theme too, so kind of makes them special. Yeah. Very. Ah. Shoot. Lost grip of the camera there. Gotta be careful about this. Warning technical difficulty. Cameras falling out of hand. Everything's getting out of hand. It's got the little copy right there. I don't know, it, it's boring. It's like it doesn't want me to show you the copyright. This was copyrighted by the Lego group in 1997. I'm just gonna warn you, so you cannot print your own one of these instructions. If you want one with just one number on the top, you just have to like sharpie that out or something. But yeah, that's the instructions for this. So yeah, this is a very, very fun set from a fun theme. I'm starting to really like. It's kind of fun to just pick up and spin it around. It's pretty playable, switchable, and fly around the filming area. Oh, that's my... That's a secret thing. But anyway, if you wanted to pick this up, say, you can get it on eBay for around like 20 bucks. It's not an expensive set, something this size. If you want to get the big fancy mask with it, that can be running up to like $35, $40. The mask on your own, you can sometimes find it for like 10 bucks on eBay. It's really random. But that mask is sometimes super expensive, sometimes it's super cheap. But it's a good set. Not, not hard to find, thankfully. A lot of this 90s stuff was pretty cool but it's not hard to find so people don't really talk about it much because they all want to show off like rare 80s sets but I don't mind showing off pretty common 90s stuff because honestly that stuff was 
sometimes is the cream of the crop with just all this printing. This one doesn't have a lot, but some of the other UFO stuff is just loaded. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you like this, press the like button. If you want, if you have any suggestions for how I'm making videos or like future videos, just leave a comment. I will be doing more of these UFO themed sets. Some, some smaller, some bigger. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Just and if you like my channel, then please subscribe because I, yeah, that would that would be very nice. Well, thanks for watching.